Hello everyone. Now we will continue with the significance testing. In last segment, what we have discussed the significance testing of mean, okay, difference in mean. And now we will discuss the significance testings of dispersion. If the mean is different okay, from the nominal mean or mean of two data are different, in last segment we have seen that we can take proper action. We can either reject or we can accept depending on the, the significance testing. Okay. If the variation is a difference is significant, then we can take action. Okay. But there may be another situation where the mean are not that different, okay. may be same, almost same. Suppose we have say 20 count yarn, okay. two yarns we have taken, the both the yarns the mean value is giving say 20, but in one yarn the standard deviation is much higher than other. Now, the problem is that which one has to be accepted. A same problem that higher one higher variation should we right way reject, it is not that. Before that we have to do the significance test. Here the problem is that significance test of dispersion or variability. So, and variability is expressed mainly in terms of either standard deviation or coefficient of variation. Now, this problem is that single standard deviation with large sample. <coughs> what does it mean single standard deviation? Here single standard deviation means we have the nominal standard deviation and the sample has got its standard deviation. So, a, a certain yarn has a mean strength of 45 pound when tested in a least Lee form okay. that is 45 pound is the mean strength. Okay. Its standard deviation is known to be 7.2 pound means it is nominal standard deviation. So, 45 pound is the mean strength and the standard deviation is 7.2 that is the variability. 50 Lees are tested. So, from there this is the known value 45 pound and 7.2. Now, sample is taken 52, 50 Lees are tested and although the mean strength is not significantly different from 45. So, we are not bothered about mean strength. So, we, so, then suppose the yarn is giving 45 strength, but the standard deviation of the sample is 9.4. Our targeted nominal standard deviation is 7.2 that is the it is that it is acceptable, but it is giving 9.4. Now, our problem is that to know the, is the variability of the sample is really greater than the bulk sample. So, bulk samples is a 7.2 standard deviation, now it is 9.4. The treatment here will be exactly same as we have discussed earlier, but the formula will be little bit different. Here, the standard deviation we are measuring. Now, this is the problem. Here, the given data is n equal to 50, mean strength is 45, and nominal standard deviation S, capital S, is 7.2, and standard deviation of sample small s is 9.4. Okay. Now, step 1 is that the calculate the standard error of standard deviation. Now, earlier what we have done? We have calculated the standard error of mean. 
here we are now trying to calculate the standard error of standard deviation. The formula is just here it is a instead of n it will be 2 n ok. Standard error of standard deviation is standard deviation of sample divided by under root 2 n. Here one thing we should remember here we are not talking about the standard deviation of population. We have two values one is population value another is sample value. Here we will be taking standard deviation of sample by under root 2 n. Okay. Now, standard deviation of sample is 9.4 and 2 n then it is coming out to be 0.94 this is standard error of standard deviation okay. and then rest the process will be exactly same. same. So, we will calculate the t value, t value will be the difference between the standard deviation because we are now trying to calculate the difference between standard deviation it is not the mean. Okay. This is difference between the standard deviation by standard error of standard deviation. So, difference is capital S minus small s by standard error. So, the t value has come out to be 2.3404 okay. this is the t value. Now, this t value we have to compare. Now, this compare this t value with the 1.96 and 2.54 as we have seen earlier for 5 percent and 1 percent confidence level for large sample that we have seen 1.9. So, this when once we compare the so 2.34 is compared it is a higher than 1.96, but less than it is 2.54 okay, 58. So, the conclusion is that although there is some evidence of a difference in variability it is only significant at 5 percent level. Okay. So, it is not significant at 1 percent level. So, what we should take action we should we may or may not accept, okay. but in normal case we may allow it to go okay. if there is no extreme problem. Okay. Next is that earlier one was the single standard deviation with the with large mean large sample this was the with a large sample large sample next one is stand single standard deviation with small sample. Now, the problem is the standard deviation of least strength of a yarn is 2.3 pound, but the sample of 13 small sample 13 bobbin from a lot is tested and the standard deviation of the sample is 3. So, it was 2.3 is the nominal and 3 is the actual we have got. Okay. Now, we have to do is the ring frame producing a yarn whose strength is more variable than usual. Okay. This is the problem. Now, here the thing is that in this case as it is smaller sample we can definitely go for the standard error principle as we have done earlier. We can take we can uh, solve this numerical based on exactly same earlier value only thing is that here the earlier case it was the large sample the t, the t value was taken based on the degree of freedom of infinity. Here we have to take the t value based on the degree of freedom. 13 minus 1 that is 12. On that basis we can test we can do the, the analysis, but as it is a smaller sample <coughs> we can take we can use another technique. This technique which is simpler one much simpler one we do not it, it actually it is faster one it needs very small calculation that is that it is a f test we can carry out. Okay. 
So, the data which is given here n is 13 nominal standard deviation of the of ring T n is a 2.3 it is a nominal standard deviation which is targeted and standard deviation of sample is 3, 3 is the standard deviation of sample. Now, now for f test we have to calculate the variance f is as we have seen f is nothing but the variance ratio. Okay. So, then we calculate the variance what is variance? Variance is the square of standard deviation and now the v 1 we do not know wh whether it will be v 1 or v 2 v 1 will be always higher. Okay. Here we have seen 3 was higher 3 is the sample standard deviation that is why v 1 we have taken as 3 square 9 okay. and v 2 it is lower it is a 5.29 which is 2.3 square which is the nominal standard deviation. Now, what we have to do we have to simply take the ratio. So, calculate f, f is the ratio of the variance of greater variance that v 1 and it is a smaller one. So, this is the ratio. Now, this f value we have calculated this we have to compare with the table f value. This is the table f value at 1 percent level. Okay. 1 percent level. So, what is the degree of freedom here? Degree of freedom is the 12 for v 1 that is for sample 1 and infinity for this one. This value it is the that is that that means it is coming out to 2.18. It is not clear, but it is a 2.18 value at 1 percent significance level. Similarly, for 5 percent significance level it is 1.75. Now, now we can compare with the value which we have got that is the at that uh, that is the degree of freedom is n minus 1 here in uh, the degree of freedom will be 12. So, against 12 we have seen and the larger pop for population it is a that is the degree of freedom of 2 second uh, that is the infinity it is then and here it has come it is a f is 1.5 at 5 1.75 as we have seen from the table and 2.18 for 1 percent level and our calculated value is 1.7 which is less than 1.75 okay and that means insufficient evidence is to provide that that variability is not there that is the case now the tricky thing is that here we have two options one is standard deviation option by standard by standard error method we can calculate t test we can have and f test now obviously as i have told that f test is the simplest one needs least calculation so that means always we should prefer f test at least for the the variability test for variability Different significance difference is variable, but f test has got one limitation in this problem in this numerical I will just come back once again in this numerical it is a small sample one small sample and we are comparing with the population which is larger one f test only can be done and can be actually performed if the sample size is small for large both large sample. suppose the our sample size is large then we cannot perform f test now the question is why now you just see it's a very tricky because it's a always people would like to uh, test the uh, without calculation now here if you see that f value here for say both the sample and both the samples or the uh, sample size is high 
um, sample size is very high that is infinity. If we see the infinity value of for sample 1 okay, and for sample 2 it is a large sample it is the infinity and what will be the f value? Here if you see the f value here f value becomes 1 this is true for at 5 percent level also 5 percent level for both inf infinity of uh, de uh, degree of freedom for 1 and degree of freedom 2 it has become 1 which is actually against our assumption. What was our, our assumption? Assumptions are the f should be more than 1 always it will be more than 1 because f value 1 exists only in one case only when the standard deviation of sample 1 and standard deviation of sample 2 are exactly same. In that case only f value will be 1, but if the standard deviations are same then we do not need to calculate the significance test. Okay. So, that is why f test is only carried out in case of when the data number of data or smaller size. Okay. Now, we have done all this numerical solved. Now, this is for your homework I have done. So, you can simply note down this numerical and test you can try using the form theory or using the all these problems we have solved. Just I will read all these things. 100 ring bobbins are tested for count and the mean count is found to be 34.2. The nominal count of ring frame is 34.0. Okay. Can we conclude that the frame is, the, is really spinning off count that we can okay. the standard deviation of sample is given 0.62. Next numerical a sample of 12 ring bobbins are tested this is small sample okay. example are tested for count and the mean found to be 94.2. If the nominal count is 92 is the machine spinning to find count this type of uh, numerical we have already discussed standard deviation of sample is given and this is also we have discussed. So, difference between means of two large samples two yarns yarn 1 yarn 2 details are given okay. is the difference is real in the least strength similar we have given 60 70 we have seen. So, same problem same way one can solve this problem another problem is the difference between mean of two small sample here the samples are smaller in this case only one difference is that we have to calculate the degree of freedom earlier case we have used the larger um, sample we use the um, degree of freedom or uh, as infinity for the small sample what we have to do n 1 plus n 2 minus 2 that is the degree of freedom. So, in this case degree of freedom we have to see t test we have to refer t test for degree of freedom of 18 okay. for that we can test and rest other systems are exactly same. So, here it is a untreated yarn of sample which is given for 48 strength and treat after treatment it has become 46. Now, we would like to know whether the treatment has given uh, treatment has weakened the yarn or not. Okay. This is that means, if it is the question that chemical treatment weaken the yarn that means, whether this strength has the difference in strength is actually significant or not that we have to test. Okay. Now, standard deviation with large sample okay. the nominal count this type of problem we have already discussed the nominal mean least strength of yarn was 42 pound the nominal standard deviation is known to be 64 pound 40 leaves were tested standard deviation of the sample was found to be 8.6 pound although mean strength are same is the variability of the sample is really greater than the bulk the same similar yarn and sixth one is the the usual standard deviation that is nominal standard deviation of count of yarn is 1.5 but the sample of 9 9 n is 9 
is tested and standard deviation is found to be 2 2 okay. is the ring frame producing yarn with the uh, with a more variable or not. So, here we can it is as it is a small sample we can use either standard division uh, standard error or t test we can or we can use the f test okay. and here standard deviation is too large sample. So, here we have to do the uh, we as it is large sample we can do the t test as we have discussed earlier also okay. and standard division too small sample too small sample here we can test f test also. Okay. So, this is the, the wave to wave strength of two fabric samples was tested to see whether the change in wave t yarn that yarn, yarn has been changed in the same loom and for the same set of work had affected the variability of the strength. Okay. So, that, that is the, so the strength of standard deviation of strength of fabric A was 6.5 and calculated from 9 test result n 1 equal to 9 and if uh, the fabric B was 7.5 n 2 equal to 11. So, we have to test the, so that is the variability here we can see standard deviation of this B was higher. So, we can this we can assume the square of this as V 1 that is the variance 1 and uh, variance 2 will be this one. So, 6.5 square. So, the a value will be 7.9 square by 6.5 square. We will see against that the horizontal line we will see that 11 minus 10 degree of freedom 10 against 9 8. So, 10 against 8 the whatever value we are getting that a value we have to compare. Okay. So, the in that way we can we can do this um, solve this numericals and we can try similar numericals also and with this we will finish this segment of significance test thank you.